If you want to have shadow play, you have to have an NVIDIA graphics card. Open your GeForce experience. This is the main menu where you see your games. Go to your settings. Go to share and turn it on. Now press Alt and Z. And this menu has to pop up. Now you can configure the settings of your recording. You can go up to 1440p, 60fps. The, the videos will have a large capacity because of the high quality rendering and recording. So I, I would uh, recommend you to put it on Sony Vegas and render it, re-render it. You'll get about a few megabytes. You can configure if you want to put push talk, always talk or off your uh, mic volume boost you can change your mic depending on which mic you have you can put your on your webcam if you go in settings in that's the gallery if you go in uh, settings you'll see connect it's going to google it's streaming there twitch youtube you can stream overlays you can put your camera at your play favorite place. Status indicator, it's the recording. If it's recording or streaming. Uh, FPS counter, really important if you're streaming. Put there on the top left. And viewers, you can see how much viewers are watching your stream. That's pretty cool feature. Keyboard shortcuts is basically the, the commands to access the stream or record it recordings normally it's where the videos go and some other settings like twitch youtube you have to put your url notifications nothing too special gallery it's basically the screenshots that you take with alt and f1 then there's other fancy settings and yeah you can go into your favorite game and open shadow play by just pressing alt and z a lot of people think that shadow play does not drop frames but in reality it does in the synthetic benchmark 3 mark fire strike the one that was recorded with shadow play had a lower score than the one that wasn't recorded in metro 2033 it dropped from two frames like you know from this chart Shadow play does drop frames. A lot of people were complaining about the shadow play microphone recording. They said that OBS was better. So I'm gonna compare it uh, throughout the video. Apples to apples comparison. I just went into CSGO and recorded with both softwares at the same time and spoke with my headset, the one that I'm using now. So I'm currently talking from my headset, the HyperX Cloud Core. I'm recording with Shadowplay and OBS. I will be switching through to see the sound quality uh, throughout the video. And it's recorded in 1080p. Uh, we're gonna see the top, on the top left, we're gonna see the FPS counter. On the bottom right, we're gonna see the mic. If, if I'm talking, if it's on push to talk, it will tell me if the mic's on or off and if I'm recording or streaming. Normally uh, for streamers they have this quality to have the viewership on the bo bottom left and yeah so here's the comparison. Is Shadowplay a good software? Yes. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card I would highly recommend you to record with it but for streamers use OBS. OBS has a lot of features you can make your stream fancy and all that good stuff but for recording OBS is the worst see you guys in the next video